Ah, ok. Hola, hola, hola. Well, uh, my name is Jorge Silva. I'm coming from Argentina as uh, Esteban. Uh, it looks like we are coming from the land of small talk or the innovation awards <laughs> land because we are getting all the, prim the, the prizes. So, well, uh, our talk is about uh, object oriented uh, software configuration management. Um, we want to to declare uh, this um, uh, Congress like uh, this uh, SCM conference because we saw a lot of uh, talk about that. Yes. Um, well, we, uh, we look the um, calling talk about uh, merging in Monticello. Uh, we also see the, uh, the talk uh, Veronica did about Torch. Um, and we also see the Fernando talk. Uh, uh, he talked about Ray Fi and the programmer and the unit of work. <coughs> and also the, the talk uh, Mariano did with Dave about Metacello. And all the, the talks uh, have in common that they were talking about SCM. So that's why we think about that this Congress has something particular and is that, uh, sorry, yep. And, and we have the, the talk uh, from Alan about uh, right now about uh, Storm. So this is another SCM solution. And what we <coughs> see is that all of these talk uh, are coming from the same, uh, are, are going uh, to the same point that is to have a better uh, SCM tool, yeah? Uh, because we think that there is a need about that. Uh, there is uh, some kind of problem that uh, that are happening again and again. And we try to focus on that, right? So, um, uh, whoa, what's happening? Uh, so uh, what we are going to talk right now is a tool that we think <coughs> that is going to face all that problem. And we think uh, that this is a new concept. We are going to face this problem not using the, the, the previous uh, solution or to uh, patch in the previous solution, but to uh, create a new concept or think about a new concept and refine all the things that it doesn't exist right now. So we don't have a logo yet. <coughs> That's <coughs> why we have the no logo logo. And we have a really bad name. And we have a really bad name. So we are trying to figure out if the idea is, is interesting and then we are going to focus on marketing and all the stuff. <laughs> so, um, and well, why we think that this is uh, necessary is because we were working with uh, all of these uh, tools, uh, not just in Smalltalk, but in Java and Ruby and, and other languages and they all have similar problems. So we think, uh, we, uh, we think that we need something else. And uh, we, uh, an another um, motivation is that we want to promote the small talk. And we think that if we do this tool in small talk, we are going to uh, promote the small talk because uh, we are thinking to use this tool to be a reference from, for other languages. So we think it's a, it's a way to promote the small talk and this is something that we want to do. So I'm going to talk right now for, uh, for the motivations that lead to this uh, <coughs> product. So the first motivation is uh, that uh, when we work with a SEM tool, we want to know uh, where the changes was integrated, uh, by who and when, yeah? Uh, what versions and what was the change during the integration and provide feedback to the programmer about the integration. Uh, if you are making an integration and you want to tell the programmer that uh, I'm not going to put that because uh, it, uh, this is awful or I don't know, you get to better that. Um, we want to integrate all that stuff in just one tool. Right now, the, the typical solution for that is sending an email or uh, get up and tell the guy that uh, you get to practice this or whatever. So the idea is to uh, focus on 
uh, manage the uh, change life cycle, right? <coughs> so this is the first uh, motivation for Kip. Uh, the next one is, uh, the, um, I want to know if all the, uh, I don't know, the, the tests when you are integrating, if all the tests uh, were run before they committed the change, you know? And this is related with the process that you are using to develop uh, your software. So uh, there is not a way to integrate your uh, development with the tool. And I don't know, if, if you are thinking to um, make a peer review or, or another stuff that is related to your uh, processes. Uh, maybe you want to take this uh, stuff in your SCM tool. So before I get the integration, I want to know that all the steps were uh, completed. So the, uh, this is the idea. Uh, I want to know if there is new test for covering the new changes yeah, I want to see the, the, the coverage for the code, I don't know. So the idea is to uh, focus on the, <coughs> on, on the quality of the change. We want to uh, assure the quality of the changes uh, or the new features, right? So the next motivation is um, about the, uh, the margin or the, the, the margin itself, right? Uh, and for example, if we have a class here, uh, uh, this is in the baseline, and we have another class, uh, and we have the same class in, in a branch that I'm uh, going to add a, a variable, yeah, an instance variable, and then I have another branch that uh, I'm going to add another instance variable in, in the same class, yeah. Uh, at the moment of merging that, it's going to cause a, a, a conflict, right? But actually, this is not a conflict. This is, uh, this is just, uh, you have to look at this and analyze this, and it's not a conflict. It's just to add in uh, two uh, instance variables, right? So we want something to, to, to be uh, smart enough to integrate this, uh, these changes. And oh, wow. that's why uh, we, uh, we are focusing here in a smart automatic integration, right? So this, uh, this is not really a conflict. This is just that needs some kind of context that, uh, some, some kind of context that is not uh, reifying in the, in the tool. That's why we, ha we need the uh, human um, inter integration. Um, so the next one is, uh, I, um, uh, there is an, a previous uh, stage uh, when during the integration that we call a pre-integration step that uh, in, in that moment sometimes I want to um, reformat the code or uh, eliminate some methods to integrate, yeah? And uh, um, this, uh, these things happen sometimes outside of the, of the tool. So we want to focus on that too. We want to see uh, we, we want to, to get the track or uh, to track in this, uh, <coughs> this decision when I'm doing the pre-integration uh, step. So uh, another motivation is to, to get uh, some pre-integration tools. So this is the focus of, of this motivation, right? The next one is uh, about the um, refactoring, yeah? Uh, it's similar to to the previous when, when I have a, an integration conflict, but this is when we are talking about uh, refactoring, yeah? Uh, here we have a, a class rename, yeah? And in, in another branch, we are adding some, uh, a new method. But if we have to integrate, uh, there, there is going to be a conflict because when uh, this is going to look like, okay, this is not a real conflict, but this is going to look did you skip? I don't know. Okay, don't worry. Uh, this is going to look like a new, look uh, like adding a new class, right? And actually, it's not a, a new class. It's, uh, it's it's a rename. So some uh, we need some kind of history of or some kind of tracking this refactor. Yeah, I'm doing a refactor right here. So if I know that this is a refactor and the previous name was measure, when I add this method to the integration. Uh, this is not going to be a conflict, a real conflict, right? So, but for the... Yeah, it's not really a conflict. 
Okay. And the problem is that you won't be able, I mean, in the current yep. tools, you won't be able to integrate it easily. You will have to know, oh, now we have a new class, so we convert two methods, has mm -hmm. to be added to the new class. Right? Yeah, I may, I, I mean a conflict with, yeah. You have to make a decision, or you, you, you need human assistance, right? So, but actually you, you don't need it if you have all the information. And the problem he, here is that you don't have reifying the concept of um, uh, refactoring, right? So if you have this concept, you can track this refactoring and say, oh, I have a refactor here, the, the last name was measure, and, and now it's this time measure, and I added a method to this, and well, uh, integrated is easy, right? Or margin is easy. So the, the, the motivation is auto-refactoring integration. The idea is to get a, a tool or, or, um, or allow to automatic refactoring integration, yeah? Uh, what, what we're saying is it's not in the, in the SDN tool. Yeah, we are talking about to have all integrated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, about to upgrading uh, a dependency. When I have a dependency, like here, uh, this is uh, fictitious, but if we have a dependency with, uh, with Seaside, and in the new version they have a, a, a large refactor uh, with all new names and all the stuff, if I declare that I have this um, dependency, it would be nice to have all the refactors uh, when I upgrade, yeah? So it would be nice to have an automatic upgrade, and this is the focus of, of this uh, motivation. To have an automatic upgrade, and to have, uh, when, when I update the, the dependency, the previous dependency, uh, I want this all, the rename, uh, to have applied in my new, uh, in my uh, project and, and not to change every, everywhere when, I, uh, when I, I'm using this uh, dependency. I don't know if this is clear. Yeah? Do you understand? Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. And the last one is, uh, <coughs> it's, it's about the information and getting information, yeah? Uh, maybe I want to know if my programmers or, or my team uh, or all the programmers is doing TDD. Um, for, for doing that, I need to know uh, all the information about the, the, the process, the development process, yeah? I want to know uh, uh, when they save the method, uh, which method was first, yeah? Uh, they write the test first or they write the test after, yeah? Uh, I want to know how the evolution of the dependencies grow up. I, I want to know how the system grow up, yeah? And I want to get some uh, advanced statistics, like uh, Leandro showed yesterday, yeah? This is, uh, uh, the, the focus of this is uh, to query the repository. The idea is to get the information so you can query the, uh, the repository to get that information and you can see uh, some advanced statistics, like, like, like I told you, that I want to see if the test uh, was running first, uh, which time the, the programmer was coding, how many times they retype, how many times, I don't know. All the stuff that you're thinking to, uh, not, to not to punishment, right? But, but to, uh, uh, to predict the future, you know? This is the idea of the, of the statistics and the and all this, that info, and, and to make decisions. So after, well, after that, um, we are making uh, what we want to do, or, or what we want from the CSM, we are thinking uh, beyond the CSM tool, right? Uh, we don't want just this, we want uh, this plus the, the, the other stuff that the CMS, CSM tools uh, are doing right now. So what can we do with the current tools? We are going to see that, right? Fast change. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how this, uh, okay, um, this map, this requirements map to the current tools, the current SEM tools. So for example, in traditional SEM tools, we almost have nothing of all this, yes? We don't have, uh, 
manage uh, change life cycle, we don't have uh, automatic refactoring integration, we don't have automatic upgrade. I mean, we have some support, maybe we have some tools around the SEM tool, but it's not integrated in the SEM tool. Yeah, because basically, you know, the uh, traditional SEM tools work with archives, yes? It's like you have snapshots of archives. They're, they're good for handling and versioning archives, but not for OO development. I mean, it's a generic solution, it's so generic that doesn't handle our specific needs. Yeah? So SEM tools are good, but not for what we really want to have. <coughs> what about Monticello and Metacello? They're a great solution that's uh, very simple and the, it works, it works really great. But there are some things that we want to do that they don't support. Yeah? For example, uh, manage the change life cycle. Yeah? We don't have that kind of information. Or we don't have the information of uh, between commit changes, between versioning, how many times a guy edited a method. We, we don't know that. We, we don't have uh, refactoring information in the SEM tool. We only have the changes. Yeah, so, for example, Veronica the other day was saying that she wanted to recreate the refactoring from the changes. I think that's going to be impossible. That information is gone. Yes. So, <coughs> even though it's a great solution, uh, I think we need more than that. Uh, we have MetaCello also that with MetaCello you can put the system architecture. You, you start, you know, using that information in the SEM tool. Uh, but I think we need more than that. <coughs> uh, what about store? Well, first of all, I, I, we don't know too much about store. Uh, I think mm, this is more or less what you can do with store. Uh, but, you know, we think that you cannot manage uh, change life cycle. Uh, well, there is not automatic integration for uh, refactorings. There is no automatic upgrade, etc. So it doesn't fit with all we need. Of course, we have MB also. Uh, MB does not have, does not manage uh, change life cycle, change quality. Well, that's something that you can do. It's not supported by the tool, but you can add that very easily. In fact, we did. Smart automatic integration doesn't come with an automatic integration tool, but you can build it uh, because it has a model behind it. Uh, Pre-integration tools, you only have a three-way differences, but if you decided that that method, you don't like it or you want to give you a conflict with another method that you just integrated, you have to write, that, write down that after integrating that method, you will have to go and change that in the browser. So it's not really, uh, it doesn't support everything you need. Um, automatic upgrade doesn't have that. And you can query the repository, and the good thing about MV is that we can add objects to the trackable items very easily. <coughs> so the good thing about MB is that it tracks method, classes, applications or modules, and system configurations that are called configuration maps. So MB is really oriented to object-oriented development. It's not just changes of things. You know, it's, it's, it's a really nice application. And you have all the history of changes, not only the commits. <coughs> but it has, at the same time, some difficulties. Like, uh, for example, um, trying to do agile development. You have to tweak a little bit the security that MB has. <coughs> um, and as disadvantages, uh, it's proprietary. It's very difficult right now to, to, to buy MB for <laughs> your development environment. Uh, we can say that the server technology is a little bit old. <laughs> Sometimes you, you had problems if you, uh, I don't know now, I think they fix it, but if you had a two core CPU, you, you, you could have some problems. Uh, the implementation in the client is kind of complex. It's difficult to follow, you know, the names and those kind of things. And it's, it's only for a small talk. Yeah, it doesn't, what? The Envy? Cool, but where, 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 where can you buy it? I mean, I know that Visual Days for Java use MB, uh, yeah, but I don't know that right now if you want to use MB for Eclipse, uh, can you? Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. But um, 
But Envy is for us the best SEM solution so far. I really liked it. See, and the fact is that uh, <coughs> we did some proof of concept of these ideas. For example, this is a Envy configuration map where you can see that we have uh, this is the uh, programmers uh, okay configuration map that is like the unit of work. And you can say, okay, on this bug fix, I'm, I'm going to, you, you can put some icons on what happened in that unit of work. So, for example, here we can see that this unit of work will run all the tests. Uh, here, this icon says that the, uh, it's, it was integrated, no, sorry, that it was sent a message to the integrator for, to integrate the configuration map. And here it says that it was integrated. In this case, it says that do not use this version because it's a bomb. <laughs> it has some bugs. Um, and here we can see the same idea, but for the main the baseline system, the main system, where you can see that all tests were run, and this is the current implementation. So you can have some managed change life cycle. Mariano, please close the computer. <laughs> What about uh, change quality? Well, here, for example, after you run all the tests and you're ready to, to, send it, to send the change to integration, you can select, okay, sell the res save the result of running all the tests in this uh, change set. Yes? Yeah, that's right. So we're saving the result of the tests in that uh, change set, we could say. And here you can select any configuration map and say, okay, I want to see the results of the change set uh, of the uh, of uh, when you run the test and you get, you know, the uh, uh, the result. Yes. Yes, that's the idea of this. Exactly, that's exactly that idea. So you could see here that some tests didn't run. Yes, and it's, it's about the integrator to decide if they want to uh, integrate that or not, because sometimes you have to send something that does, I mean, you could have some tests that don't work because they will fix by another integration or whatever, but uh, yeah. That's right. Are you saying that you actually capture uh, serialization of the test results yeah, that's right. in the version, and therefore when I load your version, I can actually unserialize that test result and open the browser, and then I see exactly what results you got. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and you can see, and you can see the if they were added more tests. Don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, we did this because... The fact that you know that you know if the test was, what was the result of the test when it was uh, saved, because as, as you click on the button, you get an OTP right and you don't know, is it my fault, is it my server, or is it, was it the bug that was... That's right. You, you have no idea after running, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we did this because uh, we wanted to certify for ISO, and in ISO you need to keep track of the quality, and Putting this in, in the configuration maps, uh, uh, the changes was good enough for them to to allow us to certify. Uh, how much time do we have? Because I find much easier. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. One minute. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, so and here we have a, a, a tool that is an automatic integrator, yeah, that have all the steps that Stefan just said, for example. Before integrating a change, it will tell you if all the tests were run, I mean, or the, all the tests run or not. Uh, here is, for example, it finished integrating all, all the changes, so do you want to run the test again to see if the integration didn't create a conflict or some kind of issue? And here is, okay, the integration finished, and it sent mails to the, in, to the developer and <laughs> whatever. So everybody is in, in, in sync. And of course, this is an, uh, an a smart integrator. Yeah. A what? A you server model? You don't have a specific, you have a specific context for the way you want to work. Mm -hmm. If you want to execute this, uh, you have to have a separate context where you can define mm -hmm. what you want to do and how you want to work. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're never going to get it. Yeah. If you don't need yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. It has to be configurable. Yeah. And, for example, Saving the result of the test is one of the things that you can do, but you could also say, no, I want to save also the result of running small link. You know, the code review, th those kind of things. So the, the idea is you will be able to do that. Yeah, this, what, what, I showed, what I showed is uh, it's not what we have right now, okay? Well, it, it exists, but it's not the tool where we're building. Those, I, we did those things in another company. Mm, we got a lot of ideas, and now we want to create another better uh, tool for this. Okay, so what our goals are? Uh, to have a software configuration management tool oriented to development with objects, not just archives, not just changes, okay? Uh, be easy to track programmers' work, easy to track system evolution and architecture. Uh, we think the architecture of a system should be in the software configuration management tool. Uh, to have an automatic integration that is smart enough for the people, for the integrator, not to go and always have to do something, and also to be able to integrate those complex changes like refactorings yeah, that take all the system, all the image. Yes, uh, we want to have those automatic upgrades. It would be cool to have that, and uh, not only for small talk. I mean, the idea is we're going to do the first version for small talk, but we want to promote these to other languages. The first one that we're going to do that is for Java and Eclipse because we need Eclipse. Well, it's a special reason. Anyway, so uh, we'll see. <coughs> How's going to be the architecture? It's client server. Yes, server. Uh, we're going to use REST. At least that's what we are thinking right now. REST to com communicate them. Uh, Multi-repository, that's like Monticello. Uh, it should work offline, not like MV. For example, then MV, if you don't have access to the uh, server, you cannot work, or yeah. The idea is that you should be able to work offline. We want to have a plugin architecture for the client, so you could easily add new uh, tools like the, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, the integrator or the statistics tool, those kind of things easily in the client. Yeah. I want also to have web support. We don't have time. Web support, um, so everybody can access through the internet. Uh, technology, we're going to develop it with Faro, we're going to uh, deploy on Glass. Uh, the project, we have a subsidy, I think that's how you say, from the Ministry of Technology. It's right. What? Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we just started. And what about the license? Well, we are not sure because we have to, to get that money, we have to propose a business case. Yes. Uh, so that business case uh, have to show that you're going to make money out of it. <laughs> and so we, we are not sure what we're going to do at the end, really. But we're thinking about, for example, making the, uh, the, I don't know, we have ideas, the server proprietary, but the clients open, or at least the, the, the idea is we, we will think about that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, what do you think? Suggestion, help, support, money, <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One, I think that you have a very realistic advantage. Mm -hmm. And two, uh, I split uh, the comparison to the modern software configuration management tools because a lot of the modern software configuration management tools have uh, 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 something to uh, do the issue tracking. Uh, 
uh, integrated so you can do the mind cycle stuff. You have uh, a part where uh, you have the quality integrated and uh, a coupling with the build server. Uh, so modern uh, software configuration management tools more or less do a lot of those things. Yeah, more okay. some of them, yes. Yes. But uh, 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 yeah, okay. Um, allows you, the idea of that allows you to add a uh, plugin uh, over this uh, server uh, uh, plugin to allow you to, I don't know, work with issues, work with, I don't know, issue tracking issue or whatever. Tracking, whatever you want. Yeah, the idea is uh, we can allow the community to add plugins, you know, so you can work as you want. <coughs> There are some things that we we are not going to do again. Torch, no, for example, we see Torch as a plugin that you could connect in the client. But what about MetaCello? Well, yes, we're going to do that in a different way. The same idea, but a different implementation because the server is going to be uh, is going to have a different model than Monticello. Yes, because we want to track all the changes. We want to track changes not only for methods. Uh, we're going to track changes for packages. We want to track uh, dependencies changes. We, we want to but all the different things, we want to have refactorings. Well, maybe those things yeah. you... Yes, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we, we haven't used store, so we are not sure wh what's the state of store, but thank you. Yeah. Okay. We can talk it. Yeah, we can okay. talk it. Thank you.